Hello, hello, D class. Wait, one second, headphones on. Alright. Let me just do one thing with Discord and then we can get started. Fight you. I need to get my team back in my park <laughs> back in here. <laughs> oh, there's Brumble Gas. appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. What's this now? Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey kiddo, I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> you got some spirit, big shot. This young lady would be Rika. It's me, Rika, at your surface. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. Fuck you. <laughs> She's a little... Farce... Farcical, shall we, shall we say. But like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, um, let me tell you, kiddo. You look fun. Like, interesting, at a glance, anyway. Actually, she is one of the Academy's esteemed students. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. Indeed. Your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly at this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? See, when you hit the champion assessment, you showed these gems what you got. 
Best of fortunes to you. Alright. There's this challenger. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be a ghost, ghost streamer. Oh god. <laughs> Time to be a co streamer instead of the main streamer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Ayana Zone. What the fuck? Hey, hey, hey. Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electro web. Who, who's a what's it? Ayano. I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola. Ciao and bonjour. And DDO. I kick as gym leader when I'm not production of sweet content on the internet as an influencer to bring dreams into the masses. And uh, I hope this doesn't come as too much a surprise. But you're being broadcast live to the world right now. Smile. Anywho, challenger, thanks for coming out to the greening gym to see me. I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of celeb, you know? I'm all kinds of busy. So I can't collab with you unless, you know, you can bring in those sweet, sweet fewer numb. Or, I mean, I gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream now. <laughs> and so, if you wanna battle me, you're gonna have to help me make this live stream a viral hit. Got it? I can't tell you. I can't tell you just. Can't wait to get started. Well, well, well then. Allow me to explain the plan. Come on out, Mr. Walksabout. Oh, Aaron Bright. What a coincidence meeting to you here. Say what? Do you guys know each other or something? This here dude is a real aura about him when he's walking down the street, so I snatched him. I'm from my dealio here. You are... You are, are too kind. <laughs> well, anywho, Aaron. Since you're today's challenger, I'ma have you play hide and seek with Mr. Walksabout here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find him three times, and you can consider this gym test passed. We need a better, we need a better name for this challenge, though. I'll call it. Where in Luigi is Mr. Walks about? You think it's the title safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? Ah, uh, whatevs. I don't know about you, but I'm about to go and get ready to hide Mr. Walks about. I feel that I owe a Pokemon League from many a past favor, so I'm more than happy to help. Do bear with me as I try my best, my allo allocated role. Guess not. Mayhap our dapper gentleman is ready. Hey, Mr. Rockspout, you good to go? Yes, I am. Yo, <laughs> ready he be. Swarkbot is hiding somewhere in this video feed. Friendio. Open those eyes wide like a magnemite and get to searching. Ready or not, here our challenger comes. That wasn't hard. Oh dear, it seems you found me. A challenger has found Mr. Walksabout. 
Well, I was like, you did it. You're one cool kid. Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make some things a little more interesting. You get to have a battle with one of my fans. Get out of here, you silly pokey maniac. The Iono Hype Squad is here. Long live the Iono Zone. About to whoop your ass, bitch. Let's see how high air Pokemon is. Oh yeah, I'm gonna whoop their ass. Didn't take much. Win or lose, I ain't a high squad forever. And you win! Well done, challenger friendio! Time for the change of scenery. Here we go, the next stage for my totally rad test. Everyone loves it, it's the Pokemon Center! Mr. Waxbot is once again hiding in the feed. Somewhere is panic. Ah, find him quick! I already see him immediately. Oh, and here I thought I blended into my surroundings quite well. Well, if you wore a Nurse Joy outfit, yeah, but you didn't. Mr. Waxbat has been found once again. Yes, I knew you were something special. Let's fix things up again before I'm moving on to the, the old next round. That's right, it's another Pokemon battle. Get out here, Pokemon Maniac Pal. I know who's watching. I can't lose. I'm about to butcher this tiny ass fish. We're gonna send in the chonk! Yes! The chonk! Oh, fuck you! Yeah, fuck you! But you know, I may have lost... What I haven't lost to you in? My devotion to Miss Ino. And you win! Well done, Challenger Friendio! There's no stopping you. Master of Seeking and Master of Battling. You're the real deal. Alrighty, then it's time for a change of scenery. The last stage will be the place right here. The battle court where battles are raging. Can you find Mr. Waxabout among these randos? Let's find out. Ready, go! Yeah, I see him. 
There you are, motherfucker. <laughs> my, my. Admirably done. Help you find your treasure in your independent study with just as much ease. Woo, my subscriber numbers are on the rise like a super fast electro electros crawling out of the ocean. Err, I mean, congratulations on passing my gym test. My diggity dang, what a good time, huh? You had the people on the edge of their seats worldwide. But you could have some super rad streams by collabing with you, Aaron. So hey, when you're ready, just hit up my lobby staff. Then you'll get all set up to collab with me. Lickety split. I'll be ready to go, whenevs. Alright, so let's move you to here. Since you have super effective attacks. Oh, she's a slag spike. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? My eyeball, your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electro web. Who what's it? I know. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. It's time for the I know zone, everybody. Today's challenger is flying high like a watch roll. It's Aaron. Yeah. How are you feeling about this battle, Aaron? Boom, we're getting straight talker here, eh? No nonsense. I like it. Alrighty then. Who's ready to see me kick some butt? Looks like you're, you're all getting hype. Ah, thank you. Won't she electro keen? Let's get the show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I don't know. Let's find out together. Give me a battle now. Let's drive my viewers, pals. Oh, hello. You're a big boy. Not as big as this big boy. But you're a big boy. That's right. You can't defeat the Chonk. How dare you think you can defeat the Chonk.
Sorry, streamer, but I'm about to whoop your ass. Oh, come on. The chunk cannot lose. God damn it. Yeah, fuck you. I sent out your last Pokemon to be killed by the Chonk Slaughter. Oh no, this isn't good. Loyal fans, I need you to hear you cheer and give me all you get. Come for shiny light bulb. Not done yet. I get no power. Go. Got my own power, bitch. Oh, fuck you. I believe in you. I believe in you, Chonk. I believe in you, the Chonk. Yes! Fuck you. The Chonk, I believe in you. Yes, chunk. Yeah. Take that, bitch. You're getting your ass whooped by the chunk. It's a chunky boy. I can't defeat the chunk. Bye bye. You're as flashy and as bright as is it? Ten million volt thunderbolt, friend yo. Our challenger came out victorious. Well done, Aaron. I hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on. Anywho, my loyal fans. Well then, what does our challenger get for beating me? The lean, mean, streaming queen? I'll tell you, Aaron, you win. A gym badge, woohoo! Screen cap this quick. This will be a shot you'll want to save in your brain spaces forever. Buy the buy space with four gym badges. Put your pals up to level 40. It will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff too. And thanks for being for such a sweet pick. I'm gonna give you a TM. If any of you found our electrifying battle be shocking so smash that subscribe button. Your eyeballs are mine, caught my electro web. Who what's it? I don't know the supercharged streamer. Catch y'all later.
Oh, hey. Oh, Aaron. Hola. Cut, you just finished up in here, huh? Nice work. That puts four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. Can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. Makes me want to challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm gonna have to wait. Because I'm putting together my team of Pokemon specifically to take that take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do my do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time I'm gonna ask for a range check. Ugh, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Aaron. Forgive me, forgive me. Oh yeah, I should see if I can train if I can give Gibble any new TMs, because I have a bunch of them. Everyone can learn Hyper Beam except for Gipple. <laughs> oh, I have some of these left. Okay. So let's check the map. Oh, I can totally one-shot the damn Steel Titan. So yeah, after I heal up, I'm gonna one-shot that bitch. Trunk solo the electric gem like a champ. Never doubt the power of the chunk. Okay, hold on, actually. Go around here. Yeah, I can take a path that goes up to here. Yeah. So yeah, I can't. I can't go this way. Ooh, I should probably take that down, too, while I'm on the way. Ooh, there's a bunch of Bramblin'. There's a bunch of cute little Bramblin'. Ooh, yes. Three. That's really good. Ah, you got burned too, bitch.
Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Oh, yes. That's a lot of medium candies. I'll take it. Marine. <laughs> That's their name. Marine. I was trying to hit P, but I accidentally hit A. Okay, so let's go ahead and give all those candies to Gibble, who absolutely needs to level up. So I'm move by... Yeah, it would be good to teach them a dark move for the ghost gem. Slash. Ooh, that's actually good. Get rid of Sand Tomb. Yeah, Gibble Evolves! Well, let's see, they're now in the 30s. That's the best part. Oh, whoops, I took a wrong turn. So I need to go around here. Yo, every bread. So someone in one of those monitors around here, to sh you should find the lurking steel titan. Rumor has it that this thing is staggering huge and real long. You'd think a Pokemon like that would be easier to spot. I wonder how much stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast? If that's the case, right enough that Pokemon viewers might help you catch up. There's a vacuum, dude. Do not mean to fight any of you. God damn it. You're in the way. Get out the road.
If we start going this way. Yep. Yeah. Surprise, motherfucker. I feel like it's an iron bug type. Which will make this a lot better. I already get fucked, motherfucker. Yeah, that was a one shot. <laughs> that was a one shot. Damn it, can do parkour. Here we go. Titan Earthworm began eating something. Aaron, you mean a pin down the titan? That's the licking steel titan? Uh, it's, uh, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend might even be fish you now after eating those herbs. We're gonna make, need to do this together, Aaron. <laughs> I can probably solo this. Doesn't matter how big a pony it is, future's gonna taste so good season by toad school. And one shot. We did it, Aaron. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I don't expect the thing to be such a little cutie. After this, I guess I'll go over to the damn Pokey School like Dragon wants me to. I bet if we go in there, we'll find more of that Herbert Mystica I ate before. Let's go find it before the thing can regroup.
Come out, what? Come out, whatever you are. Yes, I found it. Here's a little herb. This shape, it's the sheen. It looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Now then, let's see. What does this book have to say? Apparently, a salty, salty herb mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. When you got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. No time to waste. Let's get some food going. Yeah, hard, hard, watch out. Sorry for the wait. You're a super healthy sandwich. I'll prick you right up once you eat it. What's the token of our friendship? Here's another tank badge. Gaze upon it and all as you eat. Come on out, my, my was stiffs. Food's up. <laughs> well, look at that. Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Alright, and we'll be able to jump higher now. Seems like the fellow is also slowly gaining its original strength. Still doesn't look like anywhere close to, to return to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. I read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure that brute of Mavel Stiff will make a full recovery eventually. How do you feel, Mabel Sif? How's that Herbert Mystica working? Got n uh, no pressure. Not like it's fair to expect any kind of Herbert Mystica to have some huge effect, right? It's not like the effect will be immediate either. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. Aaron and I are going to make sure you you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's... it's just gotta be. Alright, Aaron. Next up, our little herb hunt should be the last. We can't lose steam till we're done. Oh, wow, we're almost done taking down all the titans. Hello, Aaron Bright. This is Toro. I detect that Maridon has gained more of its original power. Once you're riding upon it, it seems you can jump higher now if you press and hold the B button. You must continue helping Maridon and recover. Oh, whoa. That is... Oh, look at this big boy jump. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, so what should we do now? We could try going after the last Titan before facing any other gym leaders. Which is right here. It's Dragon Titan. Which means I need to bring out the Ice Whale for it. That's what, or I could just use Gardevoir. I could just use Gardevoir. Yeah, because I'm not seeing any other Titan. Looks like you're next. And I have flown here. So I can just go straight down. Got it. Also, I'm going to go ahead and visit the school. My dragon wants me to. Wherever the damn school is. There it is. Then we'll take down the last Titan. And be done with that story. So all we have to do is take care of the gems. Then Team Star. And that'll be it. And Rhino will be at full strength too. Dragon wanted me to do. Is this? I thought I had to take. I thought I had to talk to people. Okay. Uh, that's probably where these question marks are at. Hello, hello. Have you gotten used to things here, Academy? Great, glad you're having fun. No, that's that's the wrong voice. Oh, you're using a Pokedex app? I uh here, I'm the one who made it, you know. Every time someone you using the app catches a Pokemon to data gets sent to me. It's really helping my Pokemon research. I'm just so be sure to catch any new Pokemon you find, and work on filling in your Pokédex. The first goal is to aim for 30, register 30 Pokemon in your app. You know, once you do so. I see you already registered 30, 30 species of Pokemon in your Pokédex for me. Wow, so you caught this kind of Pokemon? And this one? All this data, this is the best! Ah, sorry about that. I got a little excited there. But I get the feeling that you're going to be a great help in my Pokemon research. Here, take these. Consider it in a way of saying thanks. False swipe? Oh, that could be good for, like, sh shiny hunting. You sh I think. Maybe. You, sh you sure are good at catching Pokemon, aren't you, Aaron? For your next goal, let's aim for a hundred species. Remember, what, remember, when you find a Pokemon you've never seen before, give a Pokeball a throw. Okay, so I haven't gotten a hundred. Oh, why hello, Miss Erin. How's your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope? Yep, pretty much. Wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt 
He has no set of course or criteria you must follow. S simply go to where your heart takes you, and you shall do splendidly. Speaking of pursuits, there has been something on my mind of late. Could you have... Could I ask your expertise on the matter? Would I would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard word of those meaning escapes me. I believe it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does ch, ch ugly ch chuggy mean? Oh my gosh, there's two so, that are really mean. Being out there and cool, it's a really chewy gumball. So, something super cool. <laughs> I'm gonna say a really chewy gumball. <laughs> a, a, a very chewy gumball? So it's some sort of confection that children are partially too recently? I shall try these, these ch ugly uggies for myself sometime. <laughs> the words used by young people these days are quite often beyond my comprehension. But when I learn the meanings behind these words, I feel that I feel much closer to my students. I'm most grateful for your help on that front. Well, I got nothing in return. Fuck you. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. What brings you in here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? Oh, so I guess you transferred in recently. You must be Aaron, right? Everyone's been talking about you. I heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy. And even picked a f fight with Team Star. Oh yeah, you started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out in, in, their, in your adventures. I'm kind of bored just sitting here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach. The students only come here to skip class. So yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal? There we go. Now, time to go fight that last titan. Finish the titan story. Then we can take on... Well, we can probably take on Team Star, because I think the gems are the hardest. We can probably take on the rest of Team Star, take them out, get a bunch of really good TMs, then fucking beat the living shit out of the gem leaders. So it's right there. So where's the closest area? Right here.
And after this, I should be able to climb. And before I do this uh, thing, let's change you to heal. There. That'd be much better. Now, I don't have to worry about it as much. Because I'll already have the Pokemon I need. Before going there. And I don't need no bridge anymore. Because I got. This. He. <laughs> Probably time that first jump way too quickly. Now let's see. What's that to tell? Oh. Hey, hey there, Aaron. So rumor has it the false dragon titan lurks somewhere in this t lake, yeah? But not a single person has ever caught a glimpse of it. Maybe some kind of, kind of truly terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for the, a thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Sure, it would be handy if we just ran around crying, I'm a titan or something. If only right. So yeah, I'm gonna go there, take that down too. I think that's grass. So we're gonna choose you. So yeah, I'm gonna whoop the Stanler's ass. We're gonna fly down there. Take down that thing down there. Then take on the Titan. That way we can just slow up. Um, yeah, bike. Cause they're gonna be the hardest to level up. Yeah, grass. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. Ouch. And you're defeated. Can't believe I got 70 Pokeballs now. Now I gotta get rid of one to get the perfect number. Fuck yeah. I got a bunch of medium stuff. Okay. That's actually really good. Get a bunch of mediums. Yeah, we'll use this one first. Then use these. 35. Okay. Need to get over there.
Jason? That's 100% a new Pokemon. Oh, that is also a new Pokemon right there. Don't tell me. The thing I'm sitting right next to is that is the actual fucking Titan. God damn it. Fucking match card. Yeah, I just one shotted it. Give me a rare candy since shit. Fuck yeah. Man, I was only given small candies? Fuck. That sucks. Titan! Oh shit. You're the actual Titan. Since you're the false dragon, fairy should work on you. Hopefully Bramble Gas can go first. So he might get one shot it. Hopefully. Yes! Just take your health. Oh. Absorb. Heal. Okay, my Pokemon getting her ass kicked. Oh wait, yeah, he can't hurt the Chunk. I forgot the Chunk can't get hurt by him. Yeah, prepare to get fucked, motherfucker. Oh, of course you know Body Slam. Fuck you. Poisoned. Of course you're using body slam. When I use a Pokemon you're you're not strong against. Fuck you. Cheating sack of shit.
fucking damn motherfucker. Well, what I'm going to do is going to revive Gardevoir. They got Thunderbolt. That's what I should have used first. It's fucking Thunderbolt. Oh. Oh, fucking. Thank you. Took it like a champ. It took it like a champ. Thank you, Lemon. I'm gonna hope and pray he doesn't fucking one-shot Eris again. What? He's in red! He's in red! Which means... Hey! I gotta run away or something like that. Not fucking... Oh! Oh, Grand Inferno. Oh, thank you, Grand Inferno. You only need one more hit. Please. Yes! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's gonna be around over there. Before I do. I need to go heal. And also buy the items. Yeah, he's gonna go over there. He's actually gonna... Jesus Christ. Thought it was gonna be easier. Sad to type advantage. But no! Of the motherfucker didn't want to use water type moves on the chonk. I don't think I need that many. 30 maybe. I was about to say, where's the revives? Oh yeah, I can sell a lot of shit.
30 revives would be good enough too. Alright. Now let's go take on this damn motherfucker again. He's gonna be moved here. Instead of the usual area. Right, first fought him. This time, we just fucking use Thunderbolt. He's lucky, and I'm lucky that they are. Fucking, uh, low on the thing. In. Did you find the Titan? So that's it. Sure is one big, uh, dragon? Wait, is that even a dragon or is it a, a fish? Huh. That little sushi got that eaten up by the Titan. Yeesh, I didn't expect it. See the food chain in action today. Yeah, my partner had better help me out. This is gonna get pretty fast, and I'm gonna dig in and make a meal out of this battle. Good, he, he attacked him. Okay, so we can... Why did you do that? And you only have one Pokemon, you, you are fucking moron. No, not me! Oh, oh! He's not one hitting me anymore. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, now I can... Yes! Paralysis! Yeah! <laughs> One more hit, motherfucker! Boom! Final Titan out and out of the battle! Fuck you! We did it, Aaron. Now the Titans taken care of. Next up on the menu is that Harry Mystica. Hmm? Well, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch. T -t Titan! Wait, does this thing want to fight too?
fuck! Oh wait. Why don't we stop weak dice? Never mind. Oh. I'm gonna try something. Since I have a higher speed stat, let's see if I can. If fairies, it's actually a fairy. If it is, this is gonna do a lot of damage. I don't have the highest speed set in the group so far. Oh, yep. Fairy. Okay, we're still taking it down, so it's fine. But I wish he had better moves than fucking takedown. Oh, shit. Fuck! This has gotten bad. This has gotten way bad. It's gotten way fucking bad. he gonna do now? He doesn't have a fucking... I can hopes... I can do in hopes of poisoning him. Dumbass. not gonna do much. Oh, the chunk took it like a champ. No, don't use icy wind again. He might not actually be able to hurt. He should hit her in. I'm gonna try using ice. Because he might actually be the actual dragon. Oh, fuck you! Bullshit! I'm gonna try using hit Grand Inferno. I'm not gonna work out well. I'm gonna try. Okay. Thank you for keep using that, please. That's not very effective. Though. That's what I thought. <laughs> Shadow Ball, maybe. Oh! Okay. Come on, take it. Oh, okay. Still in. Okay, so let me just keep doing that. That hurt. Okay. Thing is, now I'm just gonna constantly heal him. Well, never mind. What I could do is I could use lemon. Revive? I could try and revive Gardevoir. Or I can revive him. I think I'm going to try reviving Gardevoir. If I fail, I'll have to start this all over again. No, I didn't mean him! Oh well, Grand Inferno's getting revived. I didn't mean to revive him. Oh well. He 
One thing I hoped for was he- my partner would have more than one fucking Pokemon! I'm gonna attempt fate. <gasps> yes! Fuck you, you can't use Icy Wind, bitch! Oh shit. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. Okay, please don't use my water. Please. Yes! Oh. Die! Fuck you! Fucking piece of shit. You. Nice job, Aaron. That's my hard-working little bud. Maybe the Titan was both these Pokemon together, like some kind of combo meal. Just glad I never have to fucking do it again. The little one came out of here, which means there should be some Herba Mystica inside. Let's go, Aaron. That must be it. The last Hera Mystica. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems spicy Hera Mystica is supposed supposed to boost your metabolism. It gives you a circulation boost and helps flush out all those toxins, along with a ton of sweat. You know what's next? It's chow time. Alright, and here we go. Trusty Arvin's Chocolate block ch full of cheer, final herb, super sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? Defeated the path of legends. As well as Mariah Donstein. Right, don't you be at full power now? We're gonna climb up vertical surfaces now. I guess it's Mavel Sif's turn then. Come on, bud. Eat up. It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Aaron and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want. You know, just like we used to. Please, get better. That's all I want, really. Of 
Oh. Hello? Me have a stiff. You did your best, bud. I know, bud. Me too. Hello, Aaron Bright. This is Turo. What? What? It seems that Moraidon is gaining all of its powers except the, for the power to battle. It should be able to climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs on to while you're riding upon it. I knew you were, you were the right one to entrust it to, Aaron. Ha! <laughs> Listen to you like you had anything to do with it. That voice. Arvin, are you there? I have been searching so long for a way to reach you. Because there's no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Aaron back to the lighthouse with you. To the lab on Poco Path. I'll reach out once more when you arrive there. Yes, you probably already know, but that, that's my dad. Always buried under his work off pursuing his own research, never home with me. It's the first time I've ever heard his voice in years, you know? And now what? First thing I get is to be treated as some kind of errand boy? He's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Mariah don't probably want to go, eh? Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling. But, sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path at the lighthouse where you and, I and me first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. Dad, where have you been all this time? Okay, so... Yes. Yeah, I need to fly. Okay, so I can fly there. I can't actually fly there. First, let's heal all my Pokemon. Because they got fucked. Ooh.
Alright. Let's do this. Seriously, you beat me here. Oh, this is a lab. I used to come here and play all the time when I was a kid. There better be good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Everyone's always say, says he's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, he's the worst. All he ever does is work. He never comes home. I don't have a single memory of him ev ever. Even playing with me. His own kid. I was just the only one who was there for me. Always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. It looks abandoned. I need your help. I am currently in the deepest point of Area Zero, in the great crater of Haldea, of uh, Parmesan. I have been researching unique Pokemon here for a very long time. Asking you two to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Toro's glorious research. The final step? But there is something we need first, something that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Violet Book. Wait, you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Armin? I mean, Argon. This, this expedites things. Bring the Violet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it'll be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is home to vicious Pokemon that elf and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. It seems that. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were, were to enter alone. You may take time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be winning you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Oh, take down Team Star and have all their people help me! Oh! Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was, it was down in Area Zero where that Mabosif got wounded in the first place. Down in the Great Crater of, Pal of, of Parmesan. Oh shit, I'm, I'm doing the wrong voice. You know, honestly, it'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go?
I suppose he did ask. And I can't just stand by and watch a friend head off, heads off into danger on her own. So I guess I'm going to. Besides, I love to give a dad a piece of my mind. Alright then, Aaron Bright, outside. We're gonna have to Pokemon battle to see if you're ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. So after the Pokemon fight, we take down the rest of Team Star. Then we head for the Pokemon Gems, beat all of that. Then we go into that place. Then take on the Pokemon Lake. End of game. Alright, bot, bot whoop your ass. Alright, you ready for a battle, Aaron? Excellent. You ready too, right, Marrow Stiff? Yep, Marrow Stiff says he's ready. Okay, yeah. I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You never know when he's so weak, just, just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he's always did love the battle. Even if he always lost to that student council girl. The battle fanatic one. Anyway, my point is, there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Arvin and Mavostiff. We're feeling audacious, or maybe... Or bashous. Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Pokemon that I met during our hunt for Herbamiska are all stars. Okay, now. Oh, Jesus Christ! You're all in the level 60s. I'm fucked! I have to use this, or otherwise, I'm fucked. I'm gonna get my ass whooped. Okay, wow, that did a lot of damage. And of course, he used Earthquake. Why do you know Earthquake? Lemon can just go first and kill him. No! Come on. Bullshit. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. I don't even bother reviving. I didn't expect them to have fucking level 60 against Pokemon. Or at least I killed them. I killed their first Pokemon. Phantom Force. 
I mean, yeah, that's actually really nice. There's no point in trying to switch out Pokemon. Super effective! Get my ass kicked! Yeah, I'm fucked. You try, Bramblegast. You try. Yeah, I can't fight him yet. <laughs> Not tell my Pokemon at least level 60. The most cause for action right now. Probably not at all fight you. Be too. No, not fight that. Where are they? Fucking Team Star members. That gym. Okay, there's one that's just fighting right here. There's poison right here. I thought there was three left. Where's the fairy fucker? Oh, the fairy fucker's right here. So we should probably take care of those guys first. So let's see which one can I get close to. Well, I should probably get to this city. Or oh wait, now I can actually go right here. Go to here to poison. Just keep going that way. Just go right here. Fly here. Yeah, I cannot fight him yet. So what I need to do is probably take down Team Star. And whoop their asses. As I said, probably use... Allies. So take, take Team Star and an aid to get down there. What's that doing out here? What you doing here?
Oh yeah. Going a long way around. But you know what? What the fuck? Is that an Oni? Yeah! Fuck going out the long way. Oh shit. Yeah, I also need to see poison type weakness. Round and psychic. Okay, so Gardevoir will have to be out in the front. No! I didn't want to go in there, you dumb! Oh. Oh. Figure out where the opening is. It's over there. Why the fuck are our Pokemon up here? Fuck off! I don't want to fight! Fucking jackass! Just trying to get to where I need to go! No! Thank you! Okay, so I need to go down that way. Thank you for not actually interacting with that Pokemon. It's fine, just go down. Don't do that sliding shit. What the fuck was that? I swear I saw something. Oh, it's a Doug Trio. That's what I saw. And in we go. Aaron Bright. Glad to see you got my name committed to memory. Now let me pick on the conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to remove a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I wanted to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cannoli, I want the team to disband for good. Once joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with the students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that I... 
you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Aaron. Alright. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to be the boss of Navi Squad. Take me to Dawn Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. Not leaving until you t let me talk to Dawn Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think the grunt work for Team Star's newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this girl might be Aaron. Wait, Aaron? The kid who picked a fight with a Team Star? I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in base is still asleep since we were up last night playing video games. Leave it to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to wake up the others. You? What's in it for you? Don Atticus would be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. When the crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those near dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid. But thanks for the big assist. Alright, you villain. You're after Dawn Atticus. Be prepared to face my wrath. Bring it, bitch. Yeah! Just seeing how high level his Pokemon are will, depend, will tell me how high level their Pokemon are gonna be. Let's see. What's this Pokemon gonna be at? 30, okay. Okay. Yeah, I can take this down. Brutal. Bitch. Talk big, but I'm no warrior. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Aaron, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I was worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ack, no fair, you had backup this whole time. Is this the boy, one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're yeah, right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I had to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Aaron, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Nice work, dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss Atticus designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi squad off the map. Oh, 
Oh, there's a coin, dude. Yeah, give me your damn coins. Time to whoop your asses. Alright, so let's hope that... That this doesn't happen like last time where I can't fucking have them fight. We're just relentlessly beating the shit out of all of them. What the fuck are you? Oh my chunky boy! Go, oh, my chunky boy! Where else would it go? I must have missed some Pokemon around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. for me to whoop your ass. Ah yes, black screens. I love them so much. I love the black screens. So very much. There we go. Pray forgive me my student entry. Tisai Atticus. You're the scoundrel, Aaron Bright, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous French. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. And God. Can I can I get something else other than a black screen, please? Please? Thank you. Yeah, Ares is gonna whoop your ass. Not punishment waste the wretched plague of our house. Oh 
shit, seriously? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. This is bad. This is real bad. Well, that works. Oh, oh. This ain't good. Yeah, fuck you. Might be fucked here. There's no point in like doing anything. I don't have a full restore that I can use. I'm gonna try using Scyping this time. Okay. And at least badly damaged Muck. But you know what would be. Great Pokemon to send out? I should probably send out the Chong. He's poison type. They're not gonna do much damage to him. Go to Chonk! Yeah. Good, good job, bud. Fuck you! Hate that shit. you muck Try to load quick. Okay. Oh fuck. That's a big ground type move. Decent damage. Oh, no. oh, the chonk! Fuck you! You cheating shit! You're avoiding attacks way too damn much. Fuck it, you know what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna do this. Send this bitch out. Shadow ball on your way ass. Yeah, fuck you. See that. But you're still going to get your ass kicked. Yeah. I don't know why I was so worried. Yeah, I definitely don't know why I was so worried. <laughs> and you're down. Another Team Starbase taken down. Uh, 
forgive me, my friends. Forgive me. It took me a goodly time to procure the required materials. Wow, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, uh, yes. The flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. It's also what's in everything. I'm, I imagined that would... It, it would be. Thank you so much. I really wish to create a costume worthy of the great inf infernal airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're good at these sorts of things, of sorts of crafts things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you, you geek out over old-fashioned stuff out of their minds. The way the ninja is rough and fraught with thorn. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined ramble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I devoted my, devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Take this contraption too. It contains the technique that allows one of the cover their foes in gunk. Aaron Bright is thy name, is, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but the, thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such it was, was it its brilliance. D Don Atticus! My, my compadre? It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. D Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids are at school and I were getting bullied really bad, you and the rest of the team star saved us. Thanks to the operation you carried out, we were able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being good guys, that'll be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything about from the big boss? Nay, we've only we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the br bright and merry suit in life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but defend our bases until the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust the big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, none of us, not one of us, has met them in the flesh. With their own word, they are a recluse, as with the rest of us, to would seem bullying was to blame. It's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious compadre. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't you ever think that Team Star is all you have, Donic Atticus? You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget, 
Forget it, my compadre. Oh, you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea with about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendship that they have friendships that hold dear and reasons for acting as they do so. I just couldn't couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha! I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. It's me. Atticus, star badge is now yours, then. I see. Now that the boss has been taken down, the Navi squad's days are numbered. Now Atticus, too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. It's Operation Starfall, you've, take you've taken down all but two bases. So as far to say, it's going well. It seems to be like a good time to let you know that you're ultimately aiming to achieve our final goal. It's to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bases and created the team star, the one they call the big boss. It's the person like. Who knows? They control the five squad base bosses from the shadow. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity he hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, big boss will finally have to take this stage. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Now we can work on teams using the team machine. Awesome. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so that they can continue to be of use to the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Hey, hey there, Aaron. That, is, that uh, is, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Uh, I wasn't talking to you. Ah! So that mastermind you were talking about. Canelli mentioned him to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If you don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. Ah, uh, no, I just Uh that's right. I need your you need your award. Here, take it before I forget. Alright, well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Aaron Bright, don't lose to those guys. Alright, so we're gonna take down that thing in the distance, like the mummy thing. Right there. Line. So yeah, I can definitely take this down. Get all the stuff for there. Level up. Gabi as best I can.
What? How? How did Thunderbolt not even hurt them? Oh, they're dead. I, my game just glitched, that's all. Pokemon. <laughs> First, let's check the bag. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that was definitely useful now. What I'm going to need to do now is do this level up. First, let's heal our Pokemon.
Eric.